Welcome to Learn Electronics India. In this video, we are going to make a bugler alarm system using ESP8266 and the Blink app. So, let's see the working of this alarm system. In this system, we are going to use an ultrasonic sensor and also configure it with Blink app. The ultrasonic sensor is interfaced with the node MCU or the ESP8266 and is used to detect any object or person near the door or where the security alarm is to be installed. And the Blink app is used to give peer notification and also control the working of the alarm system. So if someone is near the door, it will give an alert here like someone is near the door and it can also be used to turn on and off the alarm and give a notification like the alarm has been turned on and alarm has been turned off. So let's see the components of this system first. First is the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor, also known as HCSR04, is a sensor that can measure distance. It emits an ultrasound at 40,000 Hz, which travels through the air and if there is an object or obstacle on its path, it will bounce back to the model. Considering the time travel and the speed of the sound, you can calculate the distance. The configuration pin of the sensor is the pin number 1 which is VCC, second is the trigger pin, third is the echo pin and fourth is the ground pin. The supply voltage of the VCC is plus 5 volts and you can attach trigger and echo pin to any digital input output in your Arduino board. Now how the ultrasonic sensor works. In order to generate ultrasound, we need to set the trigger pin on the high state for 10 microseconds. That will send out an 8 cycle sonic burst which will travel at the speed of sound and it will be received by the echo pin. Then the echo pin will output the time in microseconds the sound wave travelled. For example, let's see how we can calculate the distance. If the object is 20 centimeters away and the speed of sound is 340 meters per second, then the sound wave will need to travel about 588 microseconds as we know distance equals to speed into time. But what you will get from the echo pin will be double that number because the sound wave needs to travel forward and also bounce backward to the module. So, in order to get the distance in centimeter, we need to multiply the received travel time value from the echo pin by 0.034 and divide it by 2. Next is the Blink app. So, we have a Blink app here. First of all, click on New Project. Type the name of the project here. I will write burglar alarm. So we will choose the device here from the list of devices given. Here we are choosing ESP8266 and click on OK. Then do the connection type. Here is various options Ethernet, Wi Fi, USB, GSM, Bluetooth, BLE. Here we will use Wi Fi. Then you can choose the theme dark or light here i'm choosing dark and then create so an authentication will be sent to this user user's email so here my email and uh, an authentication token is sent so click on ok then go to settings and if you click here you get this authentication code you can refresh it and also send it to your email again then you go to this plus sign and add some widgets here first we will add a styled button for the on and off of our bugler system then we will add a notification thing 
to give us notification and also a gauge to tell us what is the distance so let's set this up now let's set this click on the button and click on pin here i am taking a virtual pin which is given in the code i will take it in as b10 and do it a switch then write labels here as off and on then this is done then go back click on this gauge connect it to the virtual pin pin number v5 and here write centimeters as we are recording centimeters then this is done and go back so here is the notification we will choose the priority as high and this is also done here you can also further change the settings in the notification settings of your mobile so this is a burglar app a burglar alarm app ready here Let's see the circuit diagram. First of all, we are going to connect the ultrasonic sensor to the ESP8266. Here, the VCC pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected to the VCC of the ESP. Then the ground of the ultrasonic sensor is connected to the ground of the ESP here. Then the trigger pin here is connected to the D2 pin of the ESP. And the echo pin here is connected to the D1 pin of the ESP with the help of two resistors here. So let's have a look at the code here. First, we will define blink print serial. Then we will include two libraries here. The first library is for connecting the ESP and configuring the ESP. The second is for connecting the Blink app to the ESP. Now, here are two variables, trigger pin and echo pin. Here, this means that trigger pin is connected to the fifth pin of the Arduino and echo pin is connected to the fourth pin of the Arduino. Then we will declare three variables, duration, distance and value to store the respective values. Then we have three character variables here. First is the authorization, which will give the authorization or the authentication code from the Blink app. The SSID is the name of your Wi-Fi and the pass is the password of your Wi-Fi. These are used to connect your ESP to your Blink app. Next, we have the void setup loop here. In the void setup loop, we will write first serial begin 9600 and Blink begin authorization SSID password. This is to configure with the Blink app and we send these details as an argument to this blink.begin function. Then we will set the pin mode of the trigger pin as output and pin mode of the echo pin as the input. Then in the void loop function, we will simply write blink.run to start the blink apps process. Now, next we come to this blink write v10 function. So, in order to make the system work at user's disposal, like if we want to make the alarm system on or off at any particular time, we will use this function. So, blink.writev10. From the app, we get the instruction or the input from the user whether to turn the app off or on. And that value is stored in this variable value through this parm.asint. The value that we get from is from the app is string so we convert it to integer and store it in the variable value. Suppose if the if we touch on the button off, if we touch on the button off we get 0, if we touch on the button on we get a 1. So if the value is 1, which this means that user wants to turn on the alarm, so we will see it print line on and notify on the blink app that the alarm has been turned on give a message or notification to the user. Then 
blink dot sync virtual v10 this means to sync any latest update from the user if he has touched the button again to switch it off or on and then we go to this sensor function here the sensor function works for the ultrasonic sensor how the working of the ultrasonic sensor works so first we'll write digital write trigger pin equal comma low and delay microseconds to digital write trigger pin high and delay microseconds of 10 and digital write trigger pin low this piece of code here is written to set the trigger pin high for 10 microseconds as we have learned in the working of the ultrasonic sensor then duration equals to pulse and echo pin comma high here we are taking the input from the echo pin which it has recorded in the form of duration the seconds then we take out the distance from this duration using this formula as discussed then give a delay of 1 second then blink dot virtual write v5 comma distance this is to send out the distance to the user app of the distance of any object that has been detected and if the distance is less than 10 centimeters to the user that someone is near the door or someone is coming. Then again we go to serial print distance and print the distance on the serial monitor. After this loop has worked, we come back here again. So if the value of the input sent by the user is 1, this function works. And if the value is 0, we serial print line off and give a notification to the user that the alarm has been turned on. So this is how this alarm, burglar alarm works. Now here is my blink app and here is the serial monitor screen. So let's start this. Here first the blink app and the ESP are connected to each other. So let's turn off our alarm first. Here we get a notification, the alarm is turned off and at the same time we get an off on a serial monitor. So let's start our alarm. We get an on on the serial monitor and it starts calculating the distance. You can see the distance given here is also changing on the blink app. So let's see. 23 on the blink app it shows 23. If I increase it 107 and 35 it's keep on changing and is soon notified on the blink app also. So let me take it near and as it is co crosses the 10 centimeters distance I get a notification that someone is near the door. So this means a, a is working. Again, we get a notification someone is near the door. So now let's turn off our system. Here we get a notification the alarm is turned off and on the serial monitor we also get off. Let's start it again. So it has started again and is recording the distance. If someone comes near, we get the message, someone is near the door. So we turn it off again and we get the distance recording stopped and an off message on the serial monitor and also a notification the alarm is turned off. So this is how this bugler alarm system works. So in this video, we learned about how to interface ultrasonic sensor with the Node MCU ESP8266 and also connected with Blink app to make our own bugler alarm system. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also do share, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.